It's the first day of the new season of Marvel Snap, so you know what that means. We're getting two brand new cards, Gilgamesh, the season pass card, and Thena, the spotlight cash card of the week. Gilgamesh has a lot of potential, and if you build your deck right, it will grow to 12 power quite easily. His maximum power without Wong is 517 if you have a full board buffed by Blue Marvel. And yes, I was surprised myself, but Gilgamesh does work with ongoing cards like Blue Marvel, Kazar, Ant-Man, and Captain America. Thena looks like a fun card, but she seems a bit restrictive to me, and if you want her to grow to her max potential, you have to draw her early on, ideally by turn 3. Of course, even if you play her on turn 5 and proc her ability on that turn and then again on turn 6, she's already a 2-7, which is honestly a great stat line. She does count herself as one of the cards played, so if you play Thena and Kitty Pride on turn 3, she will grow in power. Gilgamesh and Thena's abilities work quite well together, so I tried to make a deck that would fit them both. Ideally, we want to draw Athena early on and play two cards every turn. We have Kitty Pride and two other one drops to help us with that, saving our Gilgamesh until turn 6 to maximize his power. I also added Cannonball to help us control opponent's board a bit more. He's probably my favorite card at the moment, and I'm so glad I changed my mind about him before he left the spotlight caches. I originally had Lucage in this deck because I'm expecting a lot of Shadow King this week, so if you're seeing a lot of him, maybe swap Sage, Ironheart, or Iron Lad for Luke. I am also expecting a lot of Shang-Chi, so try to play around him by losing priority on turn 6 to play your Gilgamesh safely. A new patch just dropped a few hours ago, and I'm already seeing a ton of Thanos. Might be worth adding Killmonger to this deck too. Yikes, look at that. Oh, that's actually great. 0-0. Zero, zero. Okay, I really hope they don't play anything in the middle. Oh, I guess I could play Sage Ironheart like this and then Ironheart. It's kind of awful. Uh, I'm gonna do this, I think. I mean, my kitty will be teeny tiny, but it's fine. At least my Sage Bro is big. Oh, they grew my kitty. Nice. I feel like I just do Cannonball now and Kitty. Cannonball, Kitty, and I put Jeff in the middle. Just in case. I could also put Kitty in the middle. It doesn't really matter. I mean, unless I think they have um, Killmonger, which I don't think they do because I mean, look at their deck. I think this is fine. Okay. We should just be able to win the um, tiebreaker, honestly. Oh, that's fine because my Thena grows still. <laughs> She's like havoc. You can't stop her with Shadow King. I could have also played Gilgamesh, actually. But I think Cannonball here is better because of the location. And also we disrupt the Ant-Man. Oh, I actually have Thena in my hand. That's pretty sweet. It looks like they're also playing Thena. <laughs> it's gonna be quite hard for me to fill this. Oh, wait. Uh, I wish I could play it this turn. Wait, actually, maybe it's alright. This, the next turn I can play Thena and Rocket. But then I'm uh, stuck on the right. No, maybe it's alright. Guessing that's Thena. Alright, uh, even if I play Thena there, it's fine because I can. Uh... Ooh. This is kind of tricky. I want my Jeff too. Or Kitty. But if we do this, then uh, we get the plus three energy, which is really nice. Like, I don't think they can fill it this turn. Maybe we should just do this. Okay. She will grow. Oh, that's really nice. Alright, I don't love my hand. We can do this and hope that it's Jeff. 
Or it could be Kitty. That might be alright, actually. Oh, nice. It's actually Jeff. Very lucky. Oh, wow. I have a, a lot of <laughs> energy. What are we doing? This is just Angela and Jeff. I want to grow on the right. Is it Jeff? It could be Ironheart. Ironheart will be a lot more power, I think. That's not like they're actually playing Thena, so they're not limited by the amount of cards they can play, unlike us. I mean, maybe I should just ignore her and play things out, you know? Because I feel like this is more stats. Wait, what? Oh no, not this bug again. The undo and turn bug is back, I guess. Oh, sucks ass, man. I mean, this is fine because I can move my iron lad to the middle, right? And this? That looks pretty good. Wait, actually, do we want to put the cannonball on the right? Uh, let me have a look. If they put their Jeff there, that is 14. We have 15, so we win. I mean, unless they have some something like claw or something. And we're playing two cards, so uh, Athena will grow again, which is nice. But we are pushing their Nocturne to the right side. Uh, maybe, wait, I should do this first this first and then push just in case she changes location for something bad yeah i like that more A -pew! oh oh look gilgamesh oh wait that's teeny tiny what they didn't move their jeff huh Oh wait, I forgot about the Mysterio. Mysterio could have been the real Mysterio. Alright, GG's. We didn't get to play Gilgamesh, but we uh, did get to play Thena. And she grew to 210. That's honestly really good. And she could have been at 213 even, right? Okay, good. Not a bot. Very happy. And I got Kitty. Nice. Let's draw my Thena and Gilgamesh. Spider-Woman is not bad, honestly. Alright, I want to play Medusa then. Like, it's not ideal. Obviously, I want to draw Athena as early as possible, but at least we're still drawing our cards instead of rocks. Okay, so we've seen their... No, I haven't seen anything. Unfortunately, unless I can get Jeff or Sage next turn, I won't be able to get the energy. But maybe. Oh. Okay. Never mind. Never mind. Do we want to do something with Iron Lad now? It's probably gonna be a rock. And then they're gonna know we drew a rock. Alright, let's just play on the left. Yep, it's a rock. Maybe they draw a rock? A rock? Okay, Iron Lad's gone. Living Tribunal gone. Red Hulk is gone. Rock gone. Rock gone. No Hella. Kinda scary. They just need to draw their Hella, but there's seven cards in their deck. It's gonna be quite unlikely, no? If they snap me, I might leave. But they could be bluffing, but very few people actually bluff. I feel like every time I think my opponent's bluffing and I stay, they actually end up having the card. And they do know we... Because we played Iron Lad, they know we drew a rock, which is really bad for us. I feel like if they don't draw Hella, they're just gonna leave. Oh, I can do this. I can play another Gilgamesh. One, two. Oh, the Gilgamesh is kind of teeny tiny, no? Only two cards are grown. I mean, it's better than nothing, right? Is that Hella? Okay. Is it Hella? I don't know. It's not Hella! <laughs> Victory. Uh, hopefully it was a rock. See, they could have bluffed. If they snapped me there, I probably would have left. Looks like another bot to me. Ooh. I do like this. I wouldn't mind another Jeff. Or if I can draw Thena, another Thena. 
Oh, looks like a Gilgamesh deck finally. I have not seen him at all. In our games or other people's games, honestly. Oh, Ooh, what if we do this? Is that crazy? How big can she grow? She can grow pretty big, right? Let's do it. Why not? Huh? Oh no, a destroy with bar sinister. But it's a bot, so they might not be able to play it properly. Okay. This is perfect. Perfection. Plus, I don't think the bot will know how to play around Athena. I don't love the fact that uh, I have to play Kitty now, but it's not too bad actually. I could play Gilgamesh now. Oh wait, I can't. This is turn 4. What I could do is this. I thought it was turn 5 for some reason, but it's only turn um, 4. Oh no, not Killmonger please. Okay, that's fine. Their Deadpool is still teeny tiny. Oh my god, Angel. Angel uh, jump scare. The animation is very long. <laughs> okay, so I think we do Sage now, but it's Sage on the left. Yeah, I don't want Sage on the right because I want Thena to be the only card there. Oh, they played something in the middle. Oh nice, the premature Killmonger. Wait, but you get... Huh? What are you doing, baby girl? Didn't they just clog themselves in the middle? And they also helped me buff my sage. But I guess they are winning initiative now, so maybe they will snap on us. Actually, no, we're winning initiative. Damn it, they're gonna leave! 7 plus 7, 14. It's gonna be 14. Okay, please don't leave. Please don't- no! Victory. A human person, yay. Oh, I want a kitty. Damn. Uh, I don't want to play Rocket. It's too scary playing Rocket early. Although, people usually just play on the left. Like, unless kitty- kitty, you don't really have to play on the left. You can play her on a third location as well, so... Yeah. Angela. I mean, at least Thena and Angela in the same location, they won't, they won't be playing Shadow King unless they have... What's this? Ooh, that's kind of nice. Let's do that. Give it two power. I like two power. And then we grow our... Um, Thena. I also like this Negasonic, actually. Negasonic to play on last turn when they have initiative. This is probably a Sasquatch deck. Two cards. It have to be this and this, but that kind of sucks because, like, if they do play on the right, then my rocket is. Uh, maybe I can play rocket somewhere else. Maybe play rocket here. That might be alright. Yeah, let's do that. She's a big gal. Oh, wait, she's not that big. That's okay, Althena still grows. I need uh, something. Oh, actually, this might be okay. Next turn, I play Negasonic. I don't think I'll be playing Negasonic, actually. I mean, I can play her like this. Right? That's fine. Grows my Athena. Although, she will grow to Shang-Chi. To be able to be, to be Shang-Chi'd. Which is a little bit scary. But I think it's fine. Okay. Oh no! Bye, Green Goblin! I think now we just Cannonball. And I think Kitty will go here because uh, if I move Jeff and play Kitty there, yes, we get plus three 
power, but then we lose two power. This way we'll move the Sage, grow Athena. Looks good. I hope they don't have Shang-Chi. Actually, if they do have Shang-Chi, we're kind of lost because the Sage will go middle. We'll see. Oh. And I didn't draw Gilgamesh again! Why? Ooh. Do I want to play Rocket now? Ah, that's it. Damn it, I should have played it. Oh, it's a bot? Is it a bot? This could actually be a bot. Ah, lovely. Huh, do we want to draw... Maybe get rid of Rocket and draw? Yeah, this actually is a bot. I'm gonna get a, a, a rock for sure. 100%. Oh? I have kitty. Ooh, I actually got kitty. Let's go. Okay, maybe I should play Thena there. I don't love getting a rock, but it's fine. Unless I can get some, uh... Like an extra energy somehow. Doesn't look like it's, look like it's happening. Oh, I could also do this. That's pretty good, actually. That's lovely. Unfortunately, I won't be able to play Gilgamesh and a 1-drop. On turn 6, which is what I wanted to do. Maybe they snap us because they're winning? No? Maybe I'll just do this in case it's Angela. Next time we'll just Cannonball and Kitty. And not playing Gilgamesh. I mean, I could still play Gilgamesh and see how big he grows. Surprise, surprise. Bot knew what I was going to do. Damn, I should have played it in the middle. It's fine. I, I don't think they can win anyway. I mean, how are they gonna win? In case whatever they play... When, in case this goes right, I don't think they can actually win. Yeah, there's no freaking way they will win. Unless surprise Galactus, but they have nowhere to play Galactus. Teeny tiny. Oh. Amazing last turn. Hey, Vivon! Again, didn't get to play Gilgamesh, but I would have played him if... It didn't get to Iced. Stupid ass Iceman. Overall, I'm really liking both Gilgamesh and Thena. Gilgamesh allows for a new type of decks to be created, and I like Thena's 2 card per turn restriction as well. There is no RNG with these cards. You know exactly what you're going to get, and I really like that over the RNG Fiesta cards like Loki, Valentina, or next week Cersei. What are you doing? The other cards in the spotlight caches this week are Grandmaster and Modok. I'm really enjoying playing Grandmaster after his most recent patch, and he's done really well in my most recent Darkhawk deck. Modok is just a must-have for anyone who likes the discard archetype. You can't really go. play Apocalypse discard without him. Do you mind? I've actually run out of spotlight keys because for the last four weeks, every new card has taken me at least three keys, usually four, to get. So I will be buying Thena with tokens and hoping to open this beautiful spotlight variant of her by Francesco Tomaselli. I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, we had a little guest today in this video. I thought he would um, be a bit quieter. He really uh, wanted to express himself. And as always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Give me a down. And I'll see you next time. Bye.